up, Tuscany Tigers. Today is Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. For lunch today is pepperoni pizza, cheese pizza, or pepperoni pizza pack. Please stand for the pledges and remain standing for the mission statement and the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. We the Tigers would be inspired to lead, honor, and excel today. <laughs> Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last week? His blood stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the robbers we watch were so gallantly streamed. And around his red hair, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our friend was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet You. Please be seated. Hey, Tigers, this is Jake with your sports news. In the wild card weekend, the Colts lost to the Bills 24-27. to The Rams beat the Seahawks 30-20. to The Buccaneers beat the Washington football team 31-23. to The Ravens beat the Titans 20-13. to The Bears lost to the Saints 9-21. to And the Browns beat the Steelers 48-37. to In the NBA, the Spurs lost to the Timberwolves 88-96. to and the Rockets lost to the Lakers 102 to 120. And in college basketball, Texas beat West Virginia 72 to 70. That's all I have today. Now some trivia from Ryan. Thanks, Jake. Hi, I'm Ryan with your daily sports trivia. The Buffalo Bills beat the Indiana Indianapolis Colts 27 to 24. That is the Buffalo Bills' first playoff win in 25 years. And the Cleveland Browns beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 48 to 37. That is the Browns' first playoff win since 1994. That's all I have for today. Now, to you, Andrea. Did you know cows do have best friends and become stressed when they are separated? Hey, now some more news from Miss Bailey and Miss Leon. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning, staff, and good morning, parents. Good morning. Happy January 12th, and it is Tuesday. 
That's right, boys and girls. Next week, we have Monday off for Dr. Martin Luther King Day. So that means you go into a three-day weekend. We also want to remind you we have those upcoming days in February for early release on February 3rd, 4th, and 12th. So we dismiss at 1255. We have updated our marquee to have those dates on there. Our older students, you can write those in your agendas if you want to. If your parents are not close by, just help us remind them about those dates because I know they get busy and you guys get busy and there's a lot happening. Usually the second semester it goes by way, way too fast. So just record those dates, give reminders to your families, and we will continue to give reminders on morning announcements as well. Okay. All right, so our students are in the middle of map testing in our grade levels. So boys and girls, just remember we shared yesterday that this is an assessment that just shows your teacher what you know and what you need to know, and it helps them with planning their lessons on a weekly basis for you. So don't let it get you stressed out. Just do your very, very best on it, and that's what your teachers will tell you too. They're not going to help you. They're going to say, do your best. They'll help you navigate any technology issues, but do your best. And then that way they can plan the right lessons for you in the classroom. Yes, absolutely. You guys always do a great job on this. So we have no doubt. Absolutely. All right. I'm going to dive into our cafeteria golden spoons. Okay. For our last week. And Mrs. Bailey, I just noticed we have the Christmas vibe going on again with our outfits on morning announcements. I know, we do. <laughs> We just can't let go of the, the spirit. We can't. Okay, so for pre-K, Mrs. Jeffrey's class, I have you guys earning one golden spoon last week. And just to let everybody know, I don't have a golden spoon count for Monday. It was an early dismissal day, so I think maybe that day was just a little hectic. Um, so this is for Tuesday through Friday of that week. But So again, for pre-K, Mrs. Jeffrey, I have one. For our kindergarten classrooms, Mrs. Zervenka and Chapman and Mrs. Young are all earning three golden spoons. And for first grade, Mrs. Hunt is earning four, her classroom is earning four golden spoons. Mrs. Ryan's class is earning four golden spoons. And then Mrs. Neely's class is earning three golden spoons. And Ms. McAtenick's class is earning three golden spoons. Yay! And then for our second graders, I don't have any golden spoons to report. So this week, so that I can report it for next week, I know you guys are going to have a bunch for me to report for that cafeteria golden spoon time. And then for third grade in Mrs. Anderson's class, I have three golden spoons. Mrs. Temple's class is three golden spoons. Mrs. Fernandez's class is four golden spoons. And Mrs. Fricker's class is two. And then for fourth grade, I have Mrs. Ferguson's class earning three, Mrs. Munoz's class earning four, Mrs. Neville's earning four, and Mrs. Stiles earning three. And then moving on to fifth grade, I have Mrs. Floyd's class earning two, Mrs. Johnson's class earning two, Mr. Rodriguez earning four, and Mrs. Forsythe's class earning two. So we will continue to report those each week. You guys can mark those in your classrooms with your golden spoon charts. Your goal is to get to 10. And then if we have to readjust our goal later on in the month, we will. But right now, we just want you guys to earn 10. And then you have your classroom incentive that you as a class earned. And then our virtual students, you guys are working on your own um, incentive program for lunch as well. All right. Good job to those classes. I've been working hard and already getting three to four every week. I love yeah, it. Awesome. All right. So I guess we have jokes. We do. We share jokes. As I'm pulling mine up, I do want to give a reminder. Remember, if um, boys and girls, if you would like to write a message to Prince and Mrs. Holman, we have these paws. We have shared some with each of our classroom teachers. You can get one, write a little message on there, and we will post them in the rotunda. If you are a virtual student, feel free to share those messages with us. I had a family that sent a few in, and I got those recorded on a paw this morning and posted already. So, um, yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Okay, the first one is Tristan in fourth grade. What did the football coach say to the vending machine? To the vending machine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> These have been stumping me lately. Y'all are getting me. I don't know what. <laughs> Give me my quarterback. Oh, how it's <laughs> cute. Okay, so Miss Temple's third grade class, I have Emery. What did the baseball mitt say to the baseball? 
I don't know what. Catch you later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I have one more, and it's Mick Miss McAtenick's first grade classroom, Kinley. What do you call the fairy that doesn't take a bath? The stinky fairy? I don't know. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. Oh, I should have thought of that one. Cute. Thank you, guys. You all helped me stump Mrs. Leon this morning. Y'all got me. All right. My first one is from Clark in Mrs. Neville's fourth grade class. Okay. Um, he had submitted this one a while ago, so it's going back up. But why didn't the chicken cross the road? Um, I don't know. <laughs> because he was too chicken. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. And then... This one is also from Mrs. Neville's class from Eli, and it says, what do you call a sleeping bull? I don't know. You got me. A bulldozer. Oh. <laughs> Those are my two. I only have two today. All right. All right, boys and girls, keep the jokes coming. We love sharing them and making you laugh or at least making you laugh at us when we can't get them. Yes. You guys have a great day and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.